When the temperatures get as cold as they will be tomorrow, it can get dangerous to be outside. It's especially dangerous for homeless people who often don't have a safe place to shelter. The Table First Christian Church in Warner Robins wants to change that. They opened up a temporary cold weather shelter tonight. Anthony Montato takes us inside. It's already pretty chilly out here in Warner Robins, but just through these doors at the Table First Christian Church, a warm refuge for homeless people to kick back and have something to eat. I was a little nervous. Anyone would be with freezing temperatures fast approaching. I was living outside in the tent with my dogs. And Mary Gray recently lost her job and then her home it makes her vulnerable in the cold. I had a house and um, got evicted and there's a, there's a lot going on with that situation, but we ended up staying in a tent in a, fr a friend's backyard. When she heard about the table church's temporary shelter, though, Gray knew that's where she had to be. People are really nice here and they care. You can tell they care. Elder John Glover with the church says this work is important, especially when the mercury drops below 20. Just can't imagine, uh, and we couldn't imagine that either. We weren't going to let it happen, to, and that's why we opened it. The church's fellowship hall has room for 30 with free hot meals and, of course, hot chocolate too. Brian Wise with the city's code enforcement office even went around town picking folks up in a bus. And I know pretty much where all I'm at, and they, the most times got my phone number, so. Um, I went by and got a handful of them, picked them up. I'm supposed to go back out and pick up some more. Wise says it's a real community effort to put it all together. Folks of all ages donated to the shelter. Even six-year-old Tashawn Mills brought some sandwiches over with his mom. Because I got to love my neighbors. Now, the shelter plans to be open until Monday, but that's just the beginning. Come January, they plan to open a semi-permanent shelter with showers and 33 bunk beds. In Warner Robins, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. The church had its first try at opening the warming shelter earlier this year, but they didn't fill it up all the way. Tomorrow, they expect the fellowship hall will be packed. They'll even have some nurses on site to check everyone out.